results of 4-1 to one against the fifth straight Arsenal defeat. There's being a problem of form and not quality, surely the run has to end soon. Already seven points behind Liverpool, it certainly needs to. Fulham field the side that won so impressively in Zagreb on Thursday. They include five Frenchmen, of whom Sylvain Leguinsky deserves special mention. He was signed by Arsene Wenger for Monaco from non-league Vichy. This is a rather incestuous occasion. With Patrick Vieira again suspended, Arsenal's French contingent for once are outnumbered. Edu fills the midfield gap, and Dennis Bergkamp starts for the first time in seven games. It's the same back five for the eighth match in a row, during which time they've kept just one clean sheet. Another defeat would signal Arsenal's worst run for a quarter of a century. However, Fulham haven't beaten them since New Year's Day 1966. 18,000 sellout at Loftus Road, that's why Fulham maintain that they need a bigger ground. And the atmosphere is rife with expectation. On by Marley, and not effectively cleared first time by Sol Campbell. He has had a rather uncertain time of it of late. Malbronk, and here's Steve Finnan! <laughs> unlikely player in an unlikely position, and it would have been a pretty unlikely scoreline inside the first minute. Arsenal defensively asleep again. Will talk. Jungberg. Try to turn, or do! It's a little more like it from Arsenal. Degree of patience from Will Tord, moment of individual skill from Freddie Youngberg. Albronk. And here's Bo Morte. Take it around Pascal Sigal, and then was he bowled over? Referee says no penalty. But Sal Campbell seemed to lean into Luis Boamorte. Jeff Winter had an excellent unobstructed view and waved away the appeals. Play goes on with Finnan. But there are plenty of boos around Loftus Road at the moment. It was certainly a robust challenge by Sol Campbell. And many would say that was illegal. Lucky chap. Now, one or two shouts of cheat around the stadium. Be unfair to accuse the referee of that, of course, but certainly it seemed excessively clumsy from Campbell. That's probably the best angle of all. That looks a penalty. Jetu and then Wadu Boromorte Sigon caught out Steve Marley and this time Campbell manages to force his body between player and ball it's a corner a bit of a discussion amongst the Fulham players as to who should come forward to face David Seaman and co Captain Melville will be the last arrival Hasn't scored a Premier League goal for six years. Malbronk. Steve Finnan. And the header is straight at Seaman from Steve Marley. And Bergkamp on the break. And Henri's through the middle. He wants the ball now. He's got it. Thierry Henri for Arsenal. And Van der Sar to Fulham's rescue. A lightning break. Seaman to Bergkamp to Henri, all in the space of a few seconds. What we've come to expect from Arsenal. Edu will take this. 
Seven forward for the Gunners. That was Uadu. And this is Edu again. Leguinski. Fidden fouled by Freddy Jungberg. Arsene Wenger has lost five in a row before, but that was in the J-League. This is in the A-League. Campbell's header out. For them so far, more than a match for Arsenal. Oh, Morte. Referee again says no. Goma. To Arsenal. Well, Morty still limping after the challenge right on the edge of the penalty area. Again, it was Sol Campbell involved. Well, that looks suspiciously like another penalty. Lauren forced into an error. Well, Morty's back heel. They thought he had a little more support than was the case. Bergkamp. Jungberg! Van der Sar comes out! And Jungberg finds the side betting. Second time that Fulham's goalkeeper has been called into very serious action. He's six foot six, he's a big barrier. This corner at the end, occupied by Arsenal's travelling supporters. Edu. Paul van der Sar with a punch. Wiltold's volley, blocked by Jetu. Finnan. Recent meetings between these sides have been few and far between. But here's Sylvain Wiltord. And Jungberg's in the centre, and so's Dennis Bergkamp. And this is Henri! Off key and off target. Some of Arsenal's movement has been excellent. Finishing so far, profligate. Gilberto, Lauren, Wiltor, Gilberto, there by Melville, Edu, decent ball, Sylvain Wiltor, and Finnan behind. It's a dreadful own goal as well. And Steve Marley, who's used to scoring at the right end, took a wild swing, got an outside edge. And maybe that's the moment that Arsenal's luck turned. In all honesty, it was an awful corner. Marley lifted his head and swung and scored. Seaman, who last week conceded an own goal, this week celebrates one. Edu, Gilberto, Wiltor, I wonder how much encouragement Arsenal will take from their stroke of extreme good fortune.
will tour. Invents it, Jungberg. Good save, Van der Sar. Best pass of the match, though. That's beyond question. And now on the break, it's the speed of Bo Morte again. Campbell has really struggled against him. And Bo Morte, this time, runs out of pitch. Decent stop by Van der Sar. How about this for an inventive pass, though? Sandwich. Just needed the finishing touch, but Van der Sar was extremely quick off his line. Only a yard away from Jungberg when he had the shot. Lucky Arsenal. Steve Marley's horrible own goal separates the teams. But before that, Fulham should have had two penalties. Both for fouls by Sol Campbell on Lewis Boamorte. Twice, Jeff Winter said no to Fulham's pleas when the answer really should have been yes. Can't wait for the second half. It's Fulham nil, Arsenal one. Welcome back to Loftus Road. Arsenal halfway to ending their losing streak. Arsene Wenger says they've been playing well without any luck. Well, they've had three big slices today, an own goal and two convincing penalty appeals against them turned down. Plenty of ill luck for Jean Tigonard to rue. Gilberto. Useful ball for Henri. Not much by way of support. Bergkamp eventually will get there, so will Wiltor. And Rufus Brevet clears, only as far as Jungberg. Gilberto. And again Gilberto. Came off Jetu. And looped obligingly up into the air for Van der Sar. Willem's chairman wearing the hat to shield his eyes from the sun, which has now disappeared. Doughty in defence. Fails the handball. Sigon was in that. Oh, Morte. But all of this stemming from the fact that Lauren didn't clear when he should have done. Much more chest than arm from Sigon. Lauren and Gilberto and Henri now they've got their first just but this is Lauren heavy pressure from Arsenal now and Lauren's gone down tackled as he crossed by Bo Morte so Arsenal temporarily down to 10 men there seems no thought from Fulham of putting the ball out of play Brevet, Henri's asked Brevet to put it out, he's asked in a moto, and eventually the former Arsenal man has agreed. There's a look of anger on Thierry Henri's face at the length of time it took for Fulham to halt the game. But this was how the injury occurred. Boamorte making the tackle. Finnan, good ball, Steve Barley, defenders in his wake, angle though has become very tight. Sol Campbell's best bit of defending of the afternoon in fact. Sigon. How nice it is to see a former Fulham player, George Best, fit enough to attend been a double weekend for him and his wife. They were at Portsmouth against Leicester yesterday. Here's Marley. Good judgment by Seaman.
Here's Jungberg. And now Henri. And it's opening up for Arsenal. Cross goes Goma. Well timed. No nonsense. The last Arsenal manager to lose four on the trot was Terry Neal, and it cost him his job. Oh, Morte. I'm sure they've got to foul by Lauren. No attempt to play the ball, only to block the path of Boa Morte. Good curl on it. Awkward to defend. It is a corner. Into that area of indecision. Goalkeeper went, didn't get it. Seaman crying out, help me, to one or two of his colleagues. He wants a man on both posts. Sol Campbell leading protestations to the referee that there was some shirt pulling going on. Well, when isn't there at a corner? Tigana replaced Arsene Wenger as manager of Monaco back in 1995. Finnan. That at last is a corner. Inamoto will take the corner. is deep and high to Melville out by Luzny Goma Gilberto and now it's two on one if Henri gets to it will towards through the middle and there was only one thing that was going to stop him and that was Rufus Brevet yard either side of the Fulham left back and Will Tord would have been in on goal it's a very close intimate arena here and the majority of the supporters are Fulham fans. And here is Ashley Cole, and Canu's totally unmarked. And Brevet again in the way. Wasn't the best of crosses from Ashley Cole. Luzny, Arsenal seeking to finish this game off. Wiltord, Oleg Luzny. And Hales was with him. Luzny went down, referee says goal kick. was the degree of contact not totally convincing Brevet Hales turning away from Campbell and winning the corner Both centre-backs are up, so is the very tall right-back. And that was Legwinski. No question marks over David Seaman when it comes to that sort of save. Inamoto again. Tallest of men, Sylvain Legwinski, and Sigon, who was supposed to be marking him, was not very close. <laughs> Hales. <laughs> Legwinski. Barry Hales forcing himself in front of Ashley Cole. We're now in stoppage time. Go Morte. It'll fall for Legwinski. Fumbled by Seaman. Marley was nearly in. Arsenal living on their nerves and living on the edge. As the end to their losing run draws near, they hope. Canu. Henri, chance to add gloss to victory. Thierry Henri for Arsenal. Foiled by Van der Sar. 2-0 would have flattered them.
looks like it's going to be the old scoreline. Beloved of Arsenal supporters for so long. Referee says, hurry up, take the corner. And having taken it, Arsenal are confirmed as winners. And hold the presses, because Arsenal have at last won a football match. Unremarkable until recently, but after those four consecutive defeats, an event worthy of a song and dance. Steve Marley deserves their thanks for his own goal. That was the moment their luck changed. Arsenal were never that bad in defeat. In truth, they weren't that good in victory, but they've won, and that's all that they'll care about. It's finished, Fulham nil, Arsenal won. Steve, I know it's painful, but tell me what happened. <laughs> it's a, it's a stupid goal, you know, uh, Thierry Henry uh, kicked the, the corner, and uh, I tried to, to kick the ball away, but I deflect on my goal. <laughs> Now, be honest, was there a little bit of luck on your side with the two penalty appeals? Because the replays seem to suggest that you wouldn't have been too hard done by if the referee had twice pointed to the spot. Um, you know, that's football sometimes, you know. Uh, I'm an honest guy, I'm going for the ball, so uh, it wasn't like malicious or anything like that. Um, you know, that's football in here at the moment, you know. you. I saw the ball going over, so I wanted to go, you know, attack the ball. When you fell under Sol Campbell's challenge, you were expecting the referee to point to the spot, were you? Yeah, I think uh, first one definitely. The second one probably can be a difficult decision for the referee. No, I don't know his position, but, like that, but the first one definitely penalty because the player just ran into me and didn't play the ball at all. So I think we should have the penalty. How significant is this, Arsene, to have a win under your belt after those four defeats? It was uh, massive for us today because we are back to the world today and uh, we responded, and that's. Uh, uh, great sign about the character and the hunger of my team. Well, they were made to work for it and indeed had to hang on for it somewhat at the end, but Arsenal got the most important thing they were looking for from today. Three points, they are back to winning ways.